Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to insert a table of contents and um, we can also make it into a bookmark as well so we can go back to it from any point of the document. Okay, to make a table of contents and have the headings all nice and stuff like that, you need to define headings in your document. So just say you've got a main heading. So let's have a look at this one here. If I click on it and I go to the Home tab, okay. Now I'll just take this up the top. Now this, if I click on it, it's telling me that that's heading 3, okay. So what I need to do is make heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, okay. Now this is how I get the pinpoints into the document, the headings. Now let's move down, see if we can go to a bigger section. Uh, if I move down, these all look like heading threes, as you can tell. Now all I did was select them and choose heading three. Or I can go heading four or heading three. Right. Now if I move down, if we go to a different section, this one here looks different. So this looks like a, if I click on it, it's a heading one. Now you need these in the document, these headings and subheadings, okay? Now that's what you need first. So just say I had this here, this writing, and this was a heading that I wanted to make. I'm just going to select it, or not even select it, just have the cursor there, and I'm going to press, go up the top, and I'm going to go up the top of the page and even if I hover over it, it changes it. Now I can choose which heading I want. Now in this document I've got heading 1 and heading 3. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Right, so that's how you make a heading. Then we now is the time that we can continue and actually make a table of contents because you cannot make a table of contents if you've got no headings in there. So first thing is we are in the document and there's nothing at the top there. Now usually you have your table of contents just after your heading page or whatever. So what we're going to do is click there and first we're going to make a bookmark. So we're going to go to insert up the top on this tabs here. And we're going to go to bookmark and we're going to, well I've already got one here but all you have to do is press, um, you type in the name of the bookmark, just say let's do table of contents 2 and press add, okay. Now that's made a bookmark. Now what I'm going to do is insert a table of contents. So we're going to go to references, okay, and then down here, table of contents. Now I can just choose one. If I just click on it, it's going to automatically make a table of contents for me. But I can also go and press on this here, insert table of contents, and it comes up with this customized options here where it says show page numbers. Now let me tell you that showing page numbers um, nowadays is not a good idea because we have um, page numbers always change because just say you're reading a Kindle book on a Kindle, well the page numbers are there but what happens if you're reading that same Kindle book on a computer? there will be less pages because you fit more on the page. So if you're reading it on your phone, then there'll be more pages because it'll be smaller. Okay, so that's how it works kind of thing. So if, you, if you're creating a PDF document, you can have the page numbers or whatever. So let's just put them in for now. So I'll just tell you why. Now also, um, the tab leader, we can choose none. See how it takes the dots away, or you can have them there, or you can have a line or whatever. Okay, so let's just go with the dots, and it says write a line page numbers. Now, what happens if we take that away? See, it just goes 
too close to each other. Now we can also go to a different template and you can see the changes up the top here. So distinctive and modern. I don't particularly like the modern one. Formal. Formal's not bad. Now here it says show the levels. Now I usually only go to two levels. So we've got the heading and we've got, I, don't, I like to keep it simple. So I like to just have the heading, the main heading and then heading two underneath. So let's see what this looks like if I press OK. Okay, so here it is. Now what we've got here is just the headings. Now obviously I've missed out on something here, so I'm going to go back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go up to Table of Contents again, go down to Insert Table of Contents, and I'm going to change that to 3 on there, and press OK. And do you want to replace the selected Table of Contents? Yes. Now let's have a look. Now that's much better. So what we've got is the headings and then we've got the subs underneath which is excellent. Now this is um, organized and I can see what's missing as I'm doing the book as well and um, yeah no it's easy to follow. Now if I wanted to edit this table now so just say I went and added to the document I could uh, right click on it and say update the field and it says update page numbers only or update the entire table. So if you've added something to your document you can update the entire table and press OK and it will be redone for you again automatically. So remember how I made that bookmark earlier on so what I'm going to do is go down the bottom right down the bottom of the page for an example and I've got this text here where it says table of contents TOC right so I'm going to select the text and right click on it and choose hyperlink from the menu okay so I'm just going to move that up a bit so right click choose hyperlink and now instead of linking to a web page I want to link to a place in this document now as you can see down the bottom here here is my bookmark that I made myself so I'm going to press OK now if I click on that it's going to take me right up to the top to the table of contents so I'm going to show you that now you ready clicking on it right up there we go bang now that is how you get to the table of contents uh, from anywhere in the document so just say you wanted to mention um, you wanted to put a couple of links here and there to the table of contents. Now it doesn't matter where you are you can do it. You can just put TOC not that I'd put it like that but I'm just giving you an example because I'm sure you'll have your own ideas. Um, so we do that just move it up a bit. We right click hyperlink places in the document TOC and OK. Now you can do that with any place in the document, okay? It's just a handy little trick. And a few more notes on the table of contents. I'll just go back to where it was. It was under references and table of contents. And we'll just press this insert table of contents because I just wanted to show you one thing that I missed before. It says use hyperlinks instead of page numbers. So I've got that ticked, okay? So I'm going to press OK and yes to replace it. Now the point is that any of these little um, that there is a link to that section. So what I'm going to do, if I click on that now it's going to take me to the eBay section, okay? Now I'll go up the top again uh, just say advantages to selling hosting let's go there we go we're at it now that is what the table of contents does if you tick 
that one that says hyperlink it okay so that's a pretty good tip as well all right thanks for watching i hope that helps you make a great table of contents